Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions in the comments section below. And who knows, maybe your comment or even your video response could appear in the next episode. So with all that said, let's meet our two fighters. It's another Disney duel between Mr. Incredible, the middle-aged crime-fighting legend, and Wreck-It Ralph, the good guy, bad guy arcade veteran. Which of Disney's two big red bruisers will win in a battle to the death? This is Universes. I've never gone through a midlife crisis myself, probably because I'm not middle-aged, but I can imagine it can't be fun. Mr. Incredible was the biggest hero back in the good old days. He solved several crimes, saved several people, and caught several criminals all in a single day. He was on top of the world. However, on his wedding day of all days, he managed to save someone who didn't exactly want to be saved. The Jumper apparently received injuries from Mr. Incredible's rescue attempt and ended up suing. The Jumper won the case and opened up the floodgates for all kinds of superhero lawsuits that cost the government millions. To solve this, superheroes were forced to keep their powers hidden and live normal lives. This went on for 15 years until Bob Parr had to break the rules and become Mr. Incredible again. When duty calls, you have to do your own thing. Each super is born with a different power. Some even have two. Bob's daughter Violet was born with force field generation and invisibility. As for Mr. Incredible himself, he was given incredible strength. Get it? Get it? Now at first, this was all he had, but his designer friend Edna created these special super suits for his whole family. Some of the suit's shared attributes include the ability to withstand heats of over 1,000 degrees. They are completely bulletproof and virtually indestructible as they're able to tank hits from rockets. And they are machine washable, that's a new feature, darling. Mr. Incredible is also incredibly agile. Okay, I'll stop now. He can swing across trees and leap the width of your average city street, which rests around 40 feet at the very least. That's nearly twice the world-long jump record. He's also very stealthy as well, as he snuck into Syndrome's base, which was guarded by several heavily armed soldiers. However, Mr. Incredible isn't quite as incredible as he used to be. His older age has given him a few weight problems, a few back problems, and a lot of family problems, am I right? We know the suit, we know the powers, but let's see what Mr. Incredible has done that makes him so super. When duty calls, a hero must act quickly. Mr. Incredible is no exception to this as he's able to keep an eye on his son Dash who can run so fast that a school security camera can't pick up his movements. Since the normal human eye can only see 20 frames per second and the average security camera can pick up to 30 frames, this means Dash moved faster than the normal human eye could see. This means that Mr. Incredible being able to keep an eye on Dash gives him subsonic reaction timing. The super suits his family wears are strong enough to survive plane explosions. And Mr. Incredible himself was able to survive several electric shocks that went up to 100,000 volts. These lasted for several seconds and they were twice the voltage of your average police taser, aka very dangerous. Mr. Incredible's strength is enough to smash through walls, stop a train, pull a train, and carry a train wagon which can weigh up to 30 tons. He's strong enough to knock over a robot that can remain standing after tanking shots from, well, tanks. There's a reason for his hero name. But now let's take a look at the villain and see if he's incredible enough to stand up to the hero. Just like Mr. Incredible, Ralph also went through a bit of a midlife crisis. However, instead of missing the old days, Ralph was sick and tired of the old days. Every single day, it was climb the building, wreck the building, fall off the building for 30 years straight. He wanted more out of life and figured he could do more than just wreck stuff with those gigantic ham hands of his. He decided to start game jumping in order to find a new place where he could belong. He swore never to return to his home game without a shiny new medal around his neck. Unfortunately, his return was a bit delayed when his metal fell into the hands of a candy-coated brat. Without Ralph at his own game, it was due to be shut down any day. It was then up to Ralph to save his game and the game he jumped to from being unplugged from the arcade. He succeeded and received the medal he truly deserved. He had become everyone's hero. With Ralph's gigantic ham steak hands, he's able to deal powerful blows to any object. With his super strength, he can punch buildings, punch candy, throw candy, punch more candy. He hates candy. Chocolate. I hate chocolate. 
He pretty much does exactly what his name implies. He can even rapid fire punches to tenderize the ground and even sleep on a gigantic pile of bricks without any back problems. Considering Ralph's old enough to go through a midlife crisis, that's pretty impressive that he can sleep on that. In addition to being strong, his hands are also quite mobile. He can push a car to make it go faster than a motorcycle and other speedy carts. He's agile enough to climb trees, mountains, and scale large buildings with absolute ease. Ralph does have two glaring weaknesses though. One of them being that he cannot regenerate if he dies outside of his own game, which really isn't that bad considering normal people only have one life anyways. But the other one is his temper. Just a little bit of taunting is all it takes to get Ralph angry enough to throw a huge temper tantrum. And trust me, you do not want to see the damage this guy can do when he's angry. Ralph is strong enough to punch through walls and break down buildings by destroying room after room. And during some of his temper tantrums, he shook a volcano by stomping on the ground, split a jawbreaker that was half his size, and even punched down a gigantic layer of Mentos. As for his toughness, Ralph survives being thrown off a building on a regular daily basis. He survived a shuttle crash, and my friend over at Animation Rewind calculated a long fall that Ralph took. Don't worry, I double-checked just to make sure he wasn't pulling a fast one. The result he came up with was a force at around 3 million tons of TNT, or 3 3 megatons. Ralph's reaction timing is also fast enough to pilot a hoverboard that can travel across the Kingdom of Candy in mere seconds. He defeated King Candy, outsmarted his guards, and took on a few cybugs. So I guess you could say Ralph is a force to be reckoned with. <coughs> Get it? <laughs> Wrecked? <laughs> hey, I said I was only gonna stop with the Incredibles puns. You can't get mad at me for this one. Anyways, speaking of Incredible, it's time for these two to fight and see who's Disney's biggest brute. Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. What's the first rule of hero's duty? No cuts, no butts, no coconuts. No. Hey, what's up guys? Drayden here. And I'm about to make a prediction on... Hulk versus, I mean, not Hulk, uh, Mr. Incredible versus Wreck-It Ralph. I honestly think Wreck-It Ralph would win because he has the durability advantage, the strength advantage, slightly, um, and, uh, actually, yeah, just durability and strength, while Mr. Incredible only has speed. And the only feats he's been shown to do was um, lifting up trains, but, as exercise, but, uh, Wreck-It Ralph has been, like, destroying, trying to destroy buildings every single time of his life. And also, most of, um, Mr. Incredible's feats require some outside help, which is kind of a bummer. And, uh, Wreck-It Ralph was durable enough to, uh, withstand, like, a fall, of uh, probably a 20, 50, 30 minute second fall, and... Alright, this is my universe prediction for Mr. Incredible vs. Wreck-It Ralph, uh, announced after the video of Yihachi vs. Akuma, which is a prediction I did last time. Surprisingly enough, I was caught off guard. Alright. Now, now let's go to the next fight. And I under also another thing, I do understand why he didn't include my video into the uh, area where you have the videos uh, shown into your uh, battle. And I know my video was like 11 minutes long, so I often drag with these kind of, this kind of stuff since I'm planning to do a show of my own and I really go into deep research and such of like what's the limits of a demo average human and PSI and all that all that such so uh, I just kind of get really like excited almost about this kind of stuff especially when it's a character that I know about so anyways I'll make this quick uh now again there's only one character I know more of one character I don't know of uh one thing is actually I will say is I would rather have seen Donkey Kong versus Wreck-It Ralph the Mr. Incredible but Alright, so anyways, uh, Mr. Incredible vs. Wreck-It Ralph, I believe Wreck-It Ralph is going to win because he has shown more feats that are uh, comparable to actual characters in versus debates that are considered powerful. Mr. Incredible has shown interesting feats, but nothing along the lines of destroying a volcano, which in fact is kind of literally what Wreck-It Ralph did. Just replace lava and chemicals and all that with Mentos and soda. 
but it's still pretty much the same thing. If an average man was in there, he would have still been blown up and disintegrated. Uh, plus, he's also done many other things and punched really fucking fast to make that racetrack and all that. Uh, and he may not be necessarily the smartest and such, though he's definitely powerful and from how fast those punches were, I could assume pretty goddamn fast. Mr. Incredible probably has more experience due to the fact that he's been a hero for such a long amount of time. Uh, but he often relies on his whole team as well. Even when he was kind of working alone, he still needed help at times. So, I say the strongest feat that he's shown is stopping the uh, train or bus, whatever it was. I haven't seen this film since I was a child. Uh, I also, there are sequels to both films coming out, so it probably would have been safer to wait until those films come out, because who knows, something in those films might completely debug the entire results of the fight. But anyways, I say Rekharov's gonna win. Uh, he's shown more feats of strength and speed and things to actually come, you know, for a fight uh, like this. And uh, Mr. Incredible hasn't necessarily shown enough for us to say that he could do otherwise, so I say Rekha Ralph. And the results are in. The winner is... Wreck-It Ralph. Oh, how I love the Disney duels. Always so close. You guys are at each other's throats once again. Both Ralph and Mr. Incredible have displayed quite amazing feats of strength. Both are around small building level with the enemies Mr. Incredible is able to harm and the damage Ralph is able to cause to a penthouse. However, the true answer lies in their durability. Mr. Incredible should be superior or at least equal to his wife who is able to survive the explosion of a plane. And the super suit he wears is tough enough to tank shots from missiles. However, Ralph's fall was calculated to 3 megatons. 3 may seem like a small number, but here's a comparison. The average American nuke is only around 1 megaton. That's a small city level durability feat right there. This was a match of endurance, and let me tell you, I don't think Mr. Incredible's puny little rocket strength can quite stand up to multiple nukes. His back problems wouldn't exactly help with his endurance either. Yeah, Mr. Incredible's reaction timing of being able to keep an eye on Dash is superior to Ralph's reaction timing of being able to pilot the speedy hoverboard, but it's not nearly a big enough gap in speed to make a huge difference in the outcome. Besides, that's only reaction time, not movement or combat speed. It wouldn't exactly make sense if Mr. Incredible could run as fast as his son anyways, right? Plus, Ralph has displayed the ability to move quicker as he can push objects faster than a car can drive. Sure, Mr. Incredible's suit gives him more variety, and yeah, he has more experience, but nothing he possesses or has done could make him prepared for the gigantic threat that Ralph is. Syndrome's robot not only required the entire family of Incredibles to fight, but Frozone too. And this robot hadn't displayed any sort of power or durability that could be considered nuclear. With superior movement speed, a fitter body, and a nuclear level durability that would be able to survive anything Mr. Incredible could throw at him, Ralph claims victory victory in this fight. I guess it's game over for Mr. Incredible. The winner is Wreck-It Ralph. Because if that little kid likes me, how bad can I be? Get ready for the next battle.